In this video, I'm going to show you an easy postpartum belly morning routine that will help you get rid of that belly. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Linda Poirier with BodiesAfterBabies.com. I lost 54 pounds with my little one and I'm helping mummies all over the world to fit into those jeans, get their sexy back and find their life of happy. By the end of this video, you're going to know five tips to help your postpartum belly and an easy routine that you can include that doesn't make you stress out. Let's get started. Number one is to get out of bed the right way. I know that seems really simple, but there is a right way and a wrong way when you have that postpartum belly and how to get out of bed. I've done a video up here so you can check to see if you have a gap or a diastasis recti and that's just a split down the middle of your abs. It's really, really important that you check that out because that will hinder your progress if you have that postpartum belly. Number two is to eat your breakfast. I know it's really hard after you have a baby. You tend to eat the crusts off somebody's toast or you go into the pantry and shove your face full of food or stick your face in the fridge and eat whatever you can in five minutes because you know the baby's about to cry. So eat, eat, eat your breakfast. That will help you in your energy. That will help you in being satisfied. That'll help you in your mood so you don't feel so cray cray. And it's so easy to eat like crap when you have that newborn or heck, even if your baby is older and you're getting used to that routine and skipping that breakfast, that is a big factor in if you want to get that belly down. If you need to meal prep, then make sure you meal prep maybe on the Sunday or a Saturday and you prep that breakfast for the entire week. What I do every morning is I have a nutritious shake. It literally takes me two minutes in the morning to make it and take it. I find this is the best method for me because I could just wake up, take it and start my day. And I really don't crave anything else. I enjoy it. It gives me energy and gets me throughout the day. It's important if you want to get rid of that belly that you start in the kitchen first because you can do as many exercises as possible. But if you do not get rid of that layer on top of it, then it's not going to work. Number three is a 10 minute exercise program. I know how hard it is to find time for yourself, let alone to work out. That's why it's really great to do a quick 10 minute routine. When I was losing my 54 pounds, what I started with was those 10 minutes. And to be honest, that's all I really had in me to do. I was so freaking exhausted, but I really wanted to feel better about myself. So I just said, okay, 10 minutes, because you know what? 10 minutes is better than no minutes. And believe it or not, if you do a 10 minute quick workout and you do that over time, you I mean that adds up in a week to 70 minutes, right? So that's fantastic. I felt so awesome after I did these workouts that I was getting that energy. I felt better about myself. And when you see those pounds starting to melt off, you just feel so much better. You can have progress even with those 10 minutes that you put in. You just make sure you put the effort in and you don't half because some minutes are better than no minutes, right? Number three is to do a shower routine. And the best thing to do before you hop in that shower is to grab a dry brush. So this is what I use, it's just a bath brush. It's soft bristles. You can really find this anywhere. I got this one at Superstore. I don't know if you have a Superstore in the States, but I'm Canadian, so that's where I found mine. And just make sure it's soft and it's not too hard, but stiff enough that it's gonna do it, that it's gonna do something. Now, if you're not familiar with dry brushing, it actually stimulates your lymphatic system and it gets a circulation going. And I really, really love it for my tummy. You're gonna like the feel of this. It actually feels really, really good. And all you do is you go in circular motions and make sure you go clockwise because that's the direction of your digestion. And You'll find too, if you're just newly postpartum, maybe you might find that your skin is actually discolored. Mine was kind of gray and it was, it was really weird. I didn't even notice it until I, until I started scrubbing and I was like, oh, that's bizarre. Like it, it was gray. So this is really good for that. If there's any dry skin, you'll get that off, but it is important to make sure you go in the shower right after because you're getting rid of not only the dead skin cells, but you're also getting rid of those toxins. So then when you're in the shower, I recommend grabbing just a body puff and grabbing obviously shower gel. But when you put it on there, you do the same thing to your stomach and you go in a circle. I find that really stimulating as well. And you're just double doing a double duty without hurting your skin. Alternatively, if you have one of these, I got these in the FabFitFun. It's an exfoliating glove and it works the same way where you can just put the shower gel on it and then you work it in a circle and that's really great. I learned this trick 
way back in my competition days when I used to do fitness competitions and I used to do this all over my body and I found so I found my body getting so much better with in terms of even like lumps and bumps everywhere and that cellulite look and I was just stimulating my whole body and that was kind of the side effect I didn't realize because really what I was doing was prepping my skin to get rid of the dry skin so that when you put tanning paint or tanning what do you call it pretty much the tanning lotion on when you go on stage you don't want to clump so I was doing that but I found so much more benefits to that so that's really good if you don't have the gloves that's okay you could just use the body puff and obviously use the brush then after you get out of the shower you apply coconut oil to you the brand I use is Nutiva and I get that at Costco and I get it in the big tub and it's extra virgin coconut oil and you can just put it in a little jar and then you can just grab it and put it on you after the shower that's moisturizing you get really good benefits from the coconut oil and it helps a lot you can also use essential oils. I know Dr. Axe talks about it. I can't recommend it to you yet because I have to try it out for myself. And I'm not gonna recommend anything that I don't try for myself and use myself as a guinea. <laughs> but apparently you can use the essential oils. I know some of them have really good tightening benefits and uh, skin benefits. So I will try it and I will do it in a future video. I'm also looking into some other products for skin tightening, so stay tuned for that. And finally, number five, you can do belly binding or a belly wrap. I use the Belly Bandit. It looks like this, and I used it this way when I was pregnant, so it actually supported my belly, and then I used it, I turned it around and used it on my stomach so that it could keep it tight. Now, this is the one I have. There's a bunch of new ones. I had my boy four years ago, so this is what I had, and I still keep the box, so it looks like that, and I'll show you, actually I should see if you can look at that here too, like you can see um, how she uses it there, and then you flip it over, and the awesome thing about this one is that it has a pouch in the front or the back, depending on how you're wearing it, and what I and what it comes with is this little heat pack and ice pack so you can just chuck it in the freezer or you can chuck it in the microwave and you can make it hot and so it's really nice to soothe your stomach or soothe your back and a lot of women do this. There's really, really high ratings on this one, and I really, I really did like it. You have to wear it every single day, but you feel like, A, I felt warmer because I'm always cold, so that was awesome because I had the extra layer, and then I felt like a little hug, like it just felt like everything was tight, and I felt better about myself. You can wear it all day. I feel like you have to wear it every single day so that you can get that you know, belly down, 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 down. And it's really good. I found that when I didn't use it, that it just kind of would pooch out. But I think that in combination with all these would really, really help your belly. It did help for me. And that's it. Five simple things that you can do in a morning routine to help your postpartum belly that is easy to do. If you're showering at night, then just add it at night. But you can do these and it doesn't take any crazy extra time. In fact, it's going to save you time so that you're not worrying about it all day. If you like this video and found it really helpful, give it a thumbs up and comment below with bodies after babies. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I am pumping out a whole bunch of new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.